Oh, while you're doing this, so I looked up yeah. details on the part of the comics where Sonic cucks tails. <laughs> okay. So that we could talk more about that. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to know. So if anyone's reading through, um, I think it's it, it's a comic. Ken Penders was writing Sonic at the time, so if you're familiar with that comic series, there, there will be spoilers for that. Um, Ken Penders is a wild fucking dude. Um, pretty much everyone hates him because he's like, he's like weirdly sexist and, and controlling of his, you know, pro like intellectual property and, and he like writes crazy, well I, I, I don't even know if you could call it fan fiction because like he did write Sonic for a while so it was a really fan fiction but I guess it is because he's not writing for them legally, anyway. And he's single ladies. Yeah, he's always oh, definitely <laughs> single. Just look at his Twitter picture. Um, also great job <laughs> beating him without dying. I hate that guy. Thank you. Um, but someone, someone made a Reddit comment. I want to thank uh, the user. His name is Owadere. Um, he said, it all started in a truly insane edition in which Rouge kissed Locke, who is Knuckles' dad. And Sonic <laughs> spent hours alone in the woods with Mia, then with Amy, and then with Bunny, comma, kissing. All in the same afternoon. In this issue... Tails found Sonic, who was actually evil Sonic, and Bunny kissing. They were hiding in a bush. Sorry, hitting in a bush. Character, or this person's <laughs> spelling. And Bunny had recently broken up with Antoine. Five editions later, Tails found Sonic kissing Fiona, a fox, who was captured by Eggman when she was ten. I hope she's not still ten. <laughs> Egg Eggman developed a robotic copy of her. Years later, Tails met and fell in love with this robotic copy, which ended up being destroyed. When the real Fiona appeared, Tails had hopes that they could date again, even though Fiona was actually six years older than him. His dreams were shattered when Sonic started dating her right after breaking up with Sally. And they said, yep, that's Ken Penders, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Man. That does read like fanfic. It really does. Like, I... My first question was actually going to be, like, is this something that's, like, actually in the Sonic canon? Oh god, I don't know what in the comics is considered canon, if any. I like that these eyes follow me. By that, I mean I don't. Oh I don't yeah, like isn't that, that cool? I love that. That's such an evil thing. That is pretty thing. cool. Sonic 2 was my first experience with Sonic. That was, the, that was the first game I bought and played. Oops, that was your sexual awakening? Fuck's sake! Oh. Eat my butt, Sonic. Jesus. That hurts. And he will. He will. He eats ass, we determined. Yeah. <laughs> Very early on. And he's not afraid to cuck. No. He's not. <laughs> gonna, gonna cuck you. <laughs> You know what I just realized? So... How much do we want to talk about cucking here? I think we've done enough. <laughs> Why? I'm just... <laughs> Wait, before I make that choice, what's next? On the docket. Alright, so bear with me on this. Alright, I'm gonna need you to take I'm a walk down... Uh, an perhaps an unsavory lane with me for a little bit. Oh, oh boy. Those uh, are my favorite lanes, to be honest. Carry on. So, so my thinking is, and I could be wrong about my definition of this, but cucking is when you, uh, when a man has sex with another man's wife, essentially. Yeah? Um, I don't know if it even has to be sex. I, I, oh, so it could I, be, like, romantic cucking? I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on that, though. I don't know enough about it, but... My gut says there probably exists like a subtype or something. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't even know why I was wondering about this. Yeah, what but like, is there a different term for when you're, um, let's just use the word cucking for simplicity's sake, when you're cucking, uh, like a gay man's husband? I don't think so. So, like, purely, yeah. if you're engaging in, in 
romantic or sexual relations with someone's partner. That's cucking. That's a great question, because I know you can call, like, there's the cuck. And then there's the, they call it like the cuck queen? The, like the cuck queen? Shit. Oh, yeah. Or, or whatever. I don't know if that's gender specific. <laughs> I honestly don't know that much about it. <laughs> other than people joking about other people being cucks. Like, I don't, I don't actually know that much. Or using it as an insult. Right, right. Right. Comments! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, comment I'm not, below I'm if not, you know. I'm not gonna say anything other than comments and, <laughs> and let people figure out what I want them to do. Do, do it. Comments. Comment on this video if you know the answer. Because I am actually... I don't even know why I'm curious. Well, I mean, the pursuit of knowledge is a noble one, friend. <laughs> I appreciate the justification. <laughs> and you make it sound so eloquent when you, when you call it the pursuit of knowledge. We are but wise <laughs> sages searching for the secret text. Is that how we start the Sorry. episode? <laughs> just, just came to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do we do this, uh... Should we do, like, a fake intro here and then a real intro once we're done? So, hey, welcome to We Played a Game Supplemental, where we couldn't beat this game playing it for real, and now we have to do a makeup episode where we play the... <laughs> where ex uses expertise to play the game oh, fuck. on Why the you side. say expertise as I got shot by <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> my expertise. Uh, the story I wanted to tell real quick, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully this is staying in, or the story will be lost to eternity, but you'll <laughs> hear it, so that's fine. Uh, I started my college experience a semester early when I went to college. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to Penn State, some Penn State grad, uh, up at main campus, and they had a program called LEAP, where you could join... Uh, for certain majors, uh, why did I stand there and take that like a dope? <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt, but yeah. For certain majors, you could uh, um, start a, s a semester early, and you'd, you'd only take like one or two classes, supposed to just to kind of introduce you to the college lifestyle, mm -hmm. and get you a head start on your, you know, on your academic studies. Um, so I was like, hell yeah! So. Uh, you know, I was an IST major, so I studied information science and tech. Uh, so I joined, and I had to take one class that was related to my major, and one that was just kind of generic. So I had I had what was going to be my first class for my IST major, and then I had CAS 100B, I think it was, which was a public speaking class. Okay. And that was my first. I was fucking terrified growing up of public speaking in any shape or form. I'm a lot better now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> through trial and error. Uh, no, uh, just through... Sheer determination. Oh, shit, I don't have any rings. Yeah, mostly sheer determination. Um, and, and faking it till you make it sort of confidence. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I had that class... And we ended up, we had a project, we had a pro, oh, I died at 420. Yeah. We, we, we had a project where, I was hoping me talking about something would make this easier, but actually, fuck this guy. Uh, You're very close, I think. We had to talk about something that was like an interest to us. So I chose Rubik's Cube. So I kind of went into the history of Rubik's Cubes and, and wrote this paper. We weren't allowed to have any note cards or like any materials up with us we just had to go from memory which was rough for Ooh. me um yeah it was it was hard i mean it was supposed to sort of wow i got a lot of hits in hey, toss you in overboard and ease you into like the teacher in the class were pretty chill it was just supposed to make you more comfortable with speaking in public Duck. and like doing research and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so so I was like, so I wrote this whole thing on Rubik's cubes. Oh sh! Oh shit. my goodness! I'm sorry, am I some kind of Mr. Sonic? <laughs> uh, 
What if I died right there? It was just like, we're gonna pinch you. Because <laughs> I could see that happen. Anyway. Yeah, so you took this research. Um, yeah, long story speaking. short, I wrote that whole paper. I was super nervous about it. And the teacher gave us a whole bunch of newspapers. And we had to wrap them up into what she called um balls. And when anyone when anyone said the word um during the presentation, you were supposed to throw um balls at them. Oh. Um, as like a conditioning thing. Just like, like something physical will happen to you if you say this word. <laughs> and I was terrified. And long story short, uh, the teacher fucked up and I never had to present. <laughs> so you didn't learn from your um balls. But, <laughs> yeah, the anxiety was there. And I, but I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't get to present my Rubik's Cube essay. So, it's great. That sounds the, great. The, the other people in my group were pretty great, too. We, we had a lot of fun in that class. Uh, we recorded um, a funny video that was like our final class project for that class. Uh, where we... I think we had to... I think the, the prompt was that we had to come up with some ridiculous, like, fictional product. Or, or maybe it could have been real and we just chose to go the fictional route. But oh, you yeah? had to, you had to come up more. with, like, an advertisement for it. Uh, and you could be as ridiculous as possible. But we had to show the videos in class. That that did end up getting shown in class. And I think, honestly, I think ours was the best out of the lot. Uh, like, completely unbiased, I think ours was... Like, you, you could tell our group had the most fun with it and, and put a lot of work and love into it. Yeah. Um, but our product was the time warp, we called it. <laughs> But it the was time warp. The time warp, but it was just a calculator <laughs> that we renamed the time warp. So like you okay. would just you would you would hold it out in front of you uh, like Power Rangers uh, morphing style. <laughs> okay, yeah. And go time warp, and then it would activate. <laughs> <laughs> so we came up with all these ridiculous prompts for how it would work to to kind of sell it. So it was like. <laughs> a voice would be like, tired of always being second best? And it was my buddy, like, beating the shit out of me on the ground. Going like, mom loves me the best. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh no, and it would be like, time warp. And then my brother, my, my in-universe brother would disappear. <laughs> making me my mother's favorite. Because <laughs> I went back in time and got rid of my brother. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be the second thing you do after Hitler. But it would, like... <laughs> I don't know why, but it would happen unbeknownst to me in the advertisement. So, like, <laughs> he would just disappear, and then I was standing there, I was like, Bro? Bro? <laughs> like, looking around in a field where he just was, and now he's gone. <laughs> Wait, so... So your brother <laughs> would disappear at your... Uh... At your hand, essentially... Right, right. I could use the time warp so that I would never be second best. Uh, for, uh, you know, for our, in our mother's eyes. And then, I see. <laughs> there were so many. It was like, God, there was one where I was getting seduced by a teacher for extra credit. I don't remember what that had to do with the video, but it was in there. <laughs> um, there was another one where I used the time warp to reverse time to stop a bully from beating me up. Oh. Um, and we had we had a we had a female bully, which I thought was good for reversing gender tropes at the time. <laughs> um, and uh, oh shit, it was great. It was <laughs> there was this bit about being there when the astronauts land on the moon, and it was <laughs> we like made a fake moon and put my ACDC uh, like Bon Scott and Angus Young action figures on it as if they were <laughs> Neil Armstrong and <laughs> Buzz Aldrin. It was amazing. It was so, it was so stupid. I loved it so much. <laughs> and we put we put a bunch of bloopers at the end of the video, which I'll never forget. <laughs> one where like Tommy was the one guy in the group, and he just holds it out and goes, "I'd like to sell you the calculator." <laughs> like, like he just forgot what it was called. And was like, "Well, what is this thing? It's a calculator." It was great. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you telling that story about your. Uh, your video that you had to make made me think of a video that I made in college for... God, what was that class for? I think it was like IST 101 or something. Or 110, maybe. 
It was a very early IST class that I had to take late because uh, when I started at Penn State, I wasn't actually going for IST. Fun fact, you don't have any rings right now. <laughs> That's, yeah, I know. Okay. I'm trying to be super careful right now. It's probably not going to work. Nope. Um, All good. <laughs> uh, so, what, what, what was the project? Because depending on what it was, I might have remembered that same thing uh, happening to me. Uh, well, I didn't go to the to the same campus as you for more than a semester, so maybe the curriculum was the same. But it was. Oh, okay, gotcha. The what was even the point of the video? I don't remember at this point. Uh. Oh. Yeah, you yeah you, you kind of got the gist of it there. You have to you have to let go like while you're halfway up the the rungs. Ah, uh, farts. Okay. Yeah, this, this one could be a little brutal. Um, so we had to make a, a video, like, about technology or something. And, uh, I don't remember exactly what our video was about, but we were... Don't get crushed up here. Oh, I think it was... I think it was about, uh, getting distracted by your cell phone while driving. I think we were doing a video... Uh, like pretending to sell cell phones or something like that, and um, huh, okay. There was a bit in the video where we wanted to portray distracted driving, and in order to do that, I had the idea to to get hit by a car, like <laughs> fake get hit by a car, yeah. and the idea the idea for filming it was um the the one other guy on the project. Sorry, another guy on the project. There's there's a bunch of people on the team. Uh, he would drive towards me, you know, at a relatively s slow speed. Um, and then uh, when he got close to me, I would, like, put my hands on the hood and then fall onto the ground. You know, make it look like I got hit by the car. Right. A, dramatiz a dramatization. Yeah. So... We did uh, a couple uh, shots of this. I know I only have zero. I have zero. Yeah, I'm really right upset now. with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, so we did a couple run-throughs, and he would always stop too early. And I was like, <laughs> for the third or fourth time, I was like, "No, you're slowing down too early. Just come at me. I will stop myself." Come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah. And so the last take, uh, he he brought it, and uh, I ended up <laughs> oh, no. on the ground, winded. Oh god! So I literally got hit by a car, and it was my idea <laughs> for <laughs> for a college video. That is it. Not me. Oh, all right. Side note: thinking about eyeball guy and, and everything. Um, my son, I bought him. Well, my wife bought him a. A toy of he's been into Pokemon lately, so bought him a Cubone. Um, he really likes the Pokemon Cubone. Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> hey, do you want to get us through this part? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me grab my cut uh, roller. Sure. Uh, so what are you talking about, Eyeball Guy? Yeah. Um. So I bought this we, eyeball guy. we bought my son a toy of Cubone, and he's not great at remembering. Well, he knows some of the Pokemon's names, but not not some of them. Some of them are a little too hard, so he just kind of gives them nicknames. Mm -hmm. And he calls Cubone Boner. <laughs> <laughs> so I had, I had the unpleasant experience, <laughs> like the Pokedex, Cuba the Boner Pokemon. <laughs> Where's its mother's skull for a helmet? <laughs> Can't get much harder than that. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I'm giggling over here. Yeah, so uh, you got a boner toy for your kid. Yeah, so I had the unpleasant experience of one morning, he goes, Daddy, where's my boner? And I was like, oh boy. I'm going to leave this room. <laughs> Have a good laugh. And yeah. then... <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's just like one time he was uh, eating cereal oh. that was a po actually 
related uh, was a Pokemon cereal that we had bought. Mm -hmm. And it was just... It was pretty much like a generic... Um, uh, oh my god, what's... Cocoa Puffs kind of thing. Okay. Um, but it was like berry flavored instead of chocolate. Anyway. Uh, so he was enjoying that and someone asked him... I had some friends over and they asked him like, Hey Emmett, how is it? He goes, It's just balls. <laughs> <laughs> so that became a meme in the oh, local the young and for a while. How do you, how are you enjoying your pasta? It's just balls. It's just balls. Pasta balls. It's just pasta, pasta balls. balls. I don't know. Where's your boner? <laughs> <laughs> it's 9 p.m. Do you know where your boner is? Uh uh Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the unease in your voice. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> I lost it. We're boner. Fuck. I gave it to a friend for safekeeping. <laughs> this boner isn't mine. I'm holding on to it for a friend. <laughs> oh, it isn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any boners. I put on some furry porn and I couldn't help but notice that you were aroused. Uh, it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I was holding it for, for a friend. This is, this is my first boner, oh my god! It's so embarrassing! <laughs> Look at that, they put that there and then they're like, just kidding, there's a spring, you can't have it, fuck. It does, it did look like there was a, a delay on the, oh, you got pinched. Uh oh. <laughs> Silent. Oh no! <laughs> it's because now we have one life, and the pressure's ultra on now. Oh okay. But I also, I, I'm ra I'm mad. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say there's a, Look at that a point when I'm get out of the way. It's spin dash into it, yo. Yeah? Nah. But you're right though. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna kill you. <clears throat> so <laughs> Next time on we played a game. Oh my fucking god dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's up to you, we're approaching uh probably a forty five minute mark. I don't know, do you believe in me? Of course I believe in you. You're Mr. Sonic. Ah, oh, you idiot. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I can remember from the second one is the Balchinian. He's a Balchinian. That's right. <laughs> With a name like Balchinian, you know. How can, how can you forget? <laughs> such an on-the-nose name, it makes you, makes you feel like humans invented that name for them. It's really funny in the censored version, too. <clears throat> Have you ever seen it on TV? Yeah. He just goes, it's a chin chinian <laughs> And he just reveals his chin, there's nothing fucking there. It's just a chin. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. He's a chin chinian Just like, what? Excuse you? <laughs> He's got a chin on his chin. Just like... So, <laughs> so that's a funny topic. Censorship on television. I, I have two oh, yeah. funny instances of censorship I'd like to mention. Uh, okay. One being uh, The Breakfast Club censoring Eat My Shorts <laughs> to be Eat My Socks. <laughs> but why? <laughs> like, I, like, I guess you could argue, and I don't know if like what the exact origins of it are, but... I guess you could argue that eat my shorts is like some kind of euphemism for like sucking someone's dick. Like or maybe like I mean that might be a bit of a stretch, but I'm trying to think of like how it could be interpreted in a really poor way that they would need to censor it for television. Yeah. So that's weird. Like I'm trying to think if there's if there's slang in Engl uh you know, UK English where shorts means something different, like pants is underwear. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know, but even that, I feel like, would be a bit of a stretch. 
So yeah, that's strange. What was your other one? <laughs> the Big Lebowski. Uh, <laughs> this is what happens, is what Larry, happens when, you, when you meet a stranger in the Alps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that one. You see what happens, uh, Larry? Uh, John Goodman kills it. <laughs> in, in, in the Big Lebowski. If you've never seen that movie, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh no, I, I have. It's I. Oh, I mean, like, like our viewers, if if you haven't. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. A recommendation from both of us, it sounds like. Uh, the only thing we're missing out on is the true ending, with all the Chaos Emeralds. Alright, so I'm going to pose a question here. Do we try to uh, get the true ending in some fashion, or do we just call it here? <laughs> maybe I'll show you the true ending. Like, maybe next time we record I could show you the true ending on my completed copy of Mania. All right, it sounds like a plan. Because that way we could just go right to the end. Not okay. go left to the end. Right, left. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you severely. Whoa, what? Try again. We're missing five of the emeralds, man. He's like, oh, can I we can... just shoot that man with like a gun? I can juggle if I only have one thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just playing catch with yourself at that point. That's playing with yourself at that point. But hey, um, I just want to say thanks for sticking out with us, everybody who's watching. Um, we completed Sonic Mania. Yeah, X completed Sonic Mania. <laughs> I did it. After Sean failed like I knew he would. I Only finished. an hour and ten minutes, whatever whatever this episode is. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. I really, but you did it! We did it. We did it. I we, beat some of the levels. We did it. We played a game. We played a game. Sonic Mania. And Ugh. don't ask us to finish the emeralds. Yeah, or do. You nerds. <laughs> see in the comments. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll block Sean from the YouTube account so only I can see the nice comments about no. how you want us to play us to play some more Sonic. So. We'll see you guys gonna next see the, time, I suppose. <laughs> you're going to see the top comment is me. It's going to be Sean being like, please don't comment. <laughs> I want to see them finish the game. <laughs> Sean, get the no, real and no <laughs> in in a lowercase with a period all right bye <laughs> see you later everybody <laughs>